Elizabeth Johnson. I'm an artist specializing mostly in animal portraiture and in the altered arts, particularly mixed media collage. I'm also a teacher. I teach children as young as five years old and adults as old as they're willing to try. I've taught over the years a variety of different art forms, but currently most of my classes are in the area of drawing and um, using a variety of pencils to create art. So first you see here the supplies that I've used in this project. What we have running here in fast motion is a demonstration of a little hummingbird. This little hummingbird is smaller and a much more simple project than the enchanting bird that we will draw in the Artful Gathering 2011 class. I've already drawn him in graphite and now you can see the color being added with the ink tense pencils. In the enchanting bluebird class I will teach you first how to do the line drawing of the bird. Don't worry if you haven't drawn before. It's easier than you think, I promise. Especially when you approach it from a right brain perspective. And I will walk you through it, one step at a time, one line at a time. You'll be surprised at how quickly you'll catch on. Then we will shade the bird using our graphite pencils in the Enchanting Bluebird class. I will help you to understand some of the basics of where to place your shading, why you put it there, and how to apply the graphite in such a way to bring your line drawing to life with depth and shape. Then we will work step by step as we add the beautiful color to the fat little bird drawing through both our ink tense pencils and the watercolor pencils. I haven't used any watercolor pencils on this little hummingbird. I will try to anticipate your questions through my instructions. But, as an enrolled student in the Artful Gathering 2011, you will also be able to send me your questions and even copies of your drawings, and I can help you to fine-tune them. When you have completed your drawing, you can frame it, or even use it in a mixed-media collage project. The possibilities are endless. You can scan them, turn them into cards, all kinds of things. So I hope you will join me July 17th through August 20th for this new and exciting concept in online art classes. It'll be fun. And there he is, finished up, a little hummingbird.